Ah, Mr. Bond, I've been... Ah, Mr. Bond, I've been... I'm going too fast. Hang on. Give me another go. Ah, Mr. Bond, I've been expect... Oh, how do they do it where they just spin the once and stop there? I don't know. It's Tom Campbell from Isolation Station 24601 with some wrestling news. A major WWE signing has been released. A former WWE tag team have revealed their next possible move. And a missing WWE star gives an update on their status with the company. More on that in a little bit. A major WWE signing has reportedly been released from their contract and yes, that's gotta be Kane! Kane Velasquez uh, is the latest name uh, to be let go from WWE. Dave Meltzer tells us more uh, on Wrestling Observer Radio. He says, regarding uh, Dave, uh, Kane Velasquez being released, Dave says, they haven't used him since Saudi Arabia. He was on a giant contract. It was a multi-year deal and now they are cutting back. One of the things in those deals is they have the right to cut people. So people who thought they'd sign multi-year contracts for high dollar figures, this is how it goes. So it appears uh, that there is a almost like a get out clause in these big money deals that some of these guys have signed in the event of, I don't know, a global pandemic uh, that those contracts uh, have like an opt out. So it looks as if Velasquez is out as a result of that opt-out from WWE. Uh, that's a shape. There were big plans for Kane in WWE. He came in after a lot of, you know, a, a lot of a lot of fanfare of being the guy that beat Lesnar in the UFC. So when he turned up on the first Friday Night SmackDown on Fox, whilst we as collective fans kind of went, uh, Kofi Kingston's just lost the title. Are you, are you, what are you doing that for? Uh, it was a big sign for WWE that he came in. And then the crown jewel match happened and we all went, what? I, I still can't get over the fact that Kofi Kings has lost his WWE title. Uh, so that was the last we really saw of him. Um, there were plans for him to do a little bit more going forward, uh, but now that looks like it's not happening because of he's been released from his contracts. Will we see him back in WWE once all this blows over? I would probably say yes. There's a very strong chance that uh, Cain Velasquez will play a role in the WWE again once the curve has been flattened. But for now, uh, he is gone from the company, same as Gerald Briscoe, which we reported this morning. Uh, Jack mentioned this on the news uh, on the channel today. Uh, Briscoe has been furloughed from WWE. That was a little addendum that came out after uh, that, ja that Gerald Briscoe has been furloughed from WWE. So it means they may bring him back, but we don't know. Either way, Cain Velasquez, no longer part of the company. That had to be Kane. So the next move for a major WWE tag team has been revealed. I think you know who I'm talking about. Say so yeah, we go hard all day, all night. The Revival. Bet you thought I was going to say the clones, didn't you? Ha <laughs> ha! Triple whammy. Uh, yeah, the Revival's next new uh, move has apparently been revealed uh, on Being the Elite episode 201. If you haven't seen it yet, it features a bit where the young bucks cast their eyes to the skies and there, written in the clouds, is F-T-R. A reference to Freddy Theodore Roehampton, the accountant for AEW. You, you know that's not the case. You know I'm playing silly buggers. Uh, yeah, uh, the, that's, a, that's a very hard tease for the revival, is it not? Very hard tease for the revival. And it's one of those things now, they put that out there on Being the Elite, and I know they've joked about the revival for a long time on Being the Elite, but with the current situation they're in, i.e. not in the WWE, it would be foolhardy to promote them and not have them come in at some point. It'd be like with all the stuff with Matt Hardy, all the teasing back and forth they did with Broken Matt, to not bring him in would have just been, would have just damaged you. So like, there's obviously intentions to do something with them. I'm ready to see Young Bucks versus Revival, the team formerly known as Revival, whatever they end up calling themselves. I know there's been some uh, awful shenanigans around that lately, but um, I'm ready for it. They'll have a great time. They'll have a cracking match. Burp, burp, burp. Burp, burp. 
Not my words, the words of indigestion and the words of Samoa Joe's theme music. Joe is back. Uh, after a concussion and a suspension, Samoa Joe has returned to WWE behind the desk at the commentation station. Him, Tom Phillips and Byron Saxton called Raw last night. Jerry Lawler was there. He was there to oversee the contract signing between Seth Rollins and Drew McIntyre for all of 45 seconds. I think he was probably there. Uh, there is talk that there is... Uh, plans for Samoa Joe uh, to stay on Raw commentary as the third person for a little longer. They taped two Raws last night. They had one live and they've put one in the can for next week. So very good chance. At the very least, we are going to see our boy Joe on commentary for two solid weeks. And I really like Joe on commentary. He's got a real subtle nuance to him. I think that's the word. And I think he blend, He works really well in that role. Of course, of course, I want to see Samoa Joe wrestling. Of course I do. The man's a machine. But, hey, as a, as a, as a little side, as a side hustle on commentary, it suits Joe down to the ground. This is the reason why you're all here. Let's do some trademark news. Da -da 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 -da. Trademark news. Da -da 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 -da. Trademark news. The news that matters is trademark news. This comes from the headquarters of trademarking, which is an underground bunker in Ipswich. Um, it's not, don't go and find it. Uh, so it looks as if there is gonna be some battles in the trademark courtroom between WWE and AEW over a couple of old WCW uh, names. Uh, those being Slamboree, and The Match Beyond. So both of those are sort of WCW names, uh, both made by Dusty Rhodes. Uh, Dusty Rhodes was the man behind uh, the War Games idea, so coming up with renaming, like sort of subtitling it as The Match Beyond is something that Dusty did. Uh, same with Slamboree, which is a big part of WCW uh, for the longest of times. So we haven't had a Slamboree since March 2001. There's some uh, homework for you today. If you fancy watching something on the network whilst you're in downtime mode, watch Slamboree 01 and be very disappointed. Uh, so they are going back and forth now with AEW. AEW want to own both of those uh, trademarks. But WWE have gone, actually, we want a little bit more time to, to put together something to, to counter it. So that's happening right now. Of course, Cody, uh, as we talked about in the news recently, uh, has also put in a trademark for his WWE name for Cody Rhodes. It's the name that so many people know him as. He's basically Cody Rhodes, but they can't call him that on TV. There's ramifications to that. So they're working on that as well. Uh, but the other bit of trademark news, which I'm quite excited about, as I'm excited about all trademark news, obviously. Uh, Luke Gallows has filed uh, for the name Sex Ferguson. Now, if you are a long-term uh, fan of Luke Gallows and a fan of Colt Cabana and the Road Diaries as well, you'll already know who Sex Ferguson is. You may be familiar with him as Tex Ferguson, uh, who was Luke Gallows' character in Southpaw Regional Wrestling. Well, Luke Gallows has filed for the trademark to own Sex Ferguson outright, so he can therefore uh, take it on the road, on the Indies, and have some fun with it. I mean, when all this settles down, when we're all back to normal, I kind of want to see the resolution between Tex Ferguson and Chad Too Bad. You know, when you consider, I mean, think about this, Chad, Chad Too Bad, he paid off Bad News Allen to, to take out one of Ferguson's eyes and then paid off Fred Blassie to bite out the other. I need to see that paid off in an armory somewhere, dang nabbit. Also, if you are going to check out uh, some stuff from Sex Ferguson, which is the, the character that was born on Colt Cabana's Road Diaries, be warned, he's very sweary. My Auntie Belinda would be disgusted if she watched it. And Bobby Lashley, but not Bobby Leasley. We have an update on a missing WWE star. Missing in action, more than anything else. Uh, when, when all this has been going on, all these layoffs and furloughs in WWE, there's a few people who have gone very quiet and haven't been seen or heard from. And one of those names is Khalid. Kalisto. So people were, at, were tweeting Kalisto and, and getting in touch and saying, mate, are you all right? <laughs> Do you want to borrow a fiber? Uh, Kalisto has taken to, the, to his own YouTube channel and put out a video to say that he is still with WWE, but he suffered an injury at the end of December, a torn AC injury. And as a result of that, he is out of action. He says he's taking his time for it to recover. It doesn't need surgery, uh, but he's taking his time for it to heal properly. And he's excited to get back into the ring. And he's incredibly proud of the work uh, that Lince Dorado and Gran Metalik have been doing. Yeah. 
I can't be mean on that, can I? Because they beat Miz and Morrison on SmackDown. <laughs> I can't be too mean on that, can I? Uh, get better soon, Kalisto. Always like Kalisto. Point that out there. I know we, we wind him up a little bit, you know, good lucha things and all that stuff. He's all right. Get better soon. Lucha House Party, part of telly. That'd be fine. And that'll do it for your Cult Holly Wrestling News for today. Adam Pacitti, our boy Adam, uh, is streaming on the Cult Holly YouTube channel uh, pretty much every single night. Uh, and he is on the Twitch channel as well, uh, playing video games of all shapes and sizes. I have really enjoyed watching our boy Adam mess his pants playing Resident Evil VR. That's been a good time for me, and you know what? It could be a good time for you as well. If you don't do so already, Twitch TV slash Cultaholic, we're on there. And uh, check out our Twitter, at Cultaholic, because when we go live with stuff like that, we'll let you know all about it as well. Have yourself a wonderful Tuesday. Stay safe. Love you, bye. Ow. Spin the other way, really. Ow. Hey, it worked! I'm all the way around! What a treat! What a treat! Oh, I've gone the other way again now.